Hey, welcome everyone. This is Oleg Sosievsky from Haskane School of Business, University of Calgary. Today I would like to share with you the insights and findings of our recent study forthcoming in Strategic Entrepreneurship Journal. Uh, the title is Navigating the Emerging Market Context, Performance Implications of Effectuation and Causation for Small and Medium Enterprises During Adverse Economic Conditions in Russia. The study has been developed in a collaboration by a cross-national team comprising two Russian scholars, Galina Shirokova and Anastasia Laskovaya from Graduate School of Management, St. Petersburg University, and two Canadian scholars, Oleg Osievsky and Hossein Mahdavi Mazdeh from Haskane School of Business, University of Calgary. The study has been developed uh, for a special issue and in response to call for papers for special issue about entrepreneurship in emerging economies. The whole idea of this special issue is that um, we can get new theoretical insights and new ideas from studying entrepreneurship and innovation in parts of the world outside the traditional developed parts like North America and Western Europe. And the idea is not just to replicate the existing theories and try existing theories in new contexts, but rather learn something new from emerging economies. So, the motivation for our study. We all know that today firms exist in the world of volatility, uncertainty, complexity and ambiguity. So, external environment for the firms is changing very fast. And first, firms as complex systems must maintain fit with their environment. And they can do it through entrepreneurial adaptation that can take different forms. In our study, we look at one particular type of entrepreneurial adaptation, which is behavioral logic or decision-making logic in firms, which can be either causation or effectuation. Causation is all about rigorous forward-looking analysis, starting with a goal that a firm wants to achieve sometime in the future, and then uh, creating very sophisticated plans to reach that goal, uh, mobilizing the resources to reach that goal. On the other hand, effectuation starts with different premise. It starts with a premise that future is inherently unpredictable and there is limited value in too much of the planning and starting with a goal uh, somewhere in, in the future. Instead, effectuation is all about uh, leveraging the existing resources, competences, and controlling the Envi environmental uncertainty through uh, entrepreneurial actions, creating new markets, products, opportunities. So, effectuation essentially is all about leveraging the opportunities as they emerge rather than trying to pre-plan everything. Effectuation is all about looking at what you have instead of trying to trying to build comprehensive plans uh, in order to achieve some long-term goals predetermined. So, even though effectuation introduced by Sara Sarathwasi in 2001 Academy of Management Review article, uh, it has been traditionally applied to um, uh, as a cognitive logic for new venturing process, for entrepreneurs developing their startups. Actually, it is pretty applicable to established firms and entrepreneurial innovative actions within established firms. Our research questions are the following. How do effectuation and causation affect firm performance? But firm performance we investigated holistically, not just mean performance or average performance, but also performance variability. Do effectuation and causation, do they make performance more stable or more unstable, more predictable or less predictable or reliable? And second thing is, how does economic crisis shape this relationship? And to answer this question, we look at particular context, crisis in an emerging market, we look at Russia, Russian economy in 2015-2016, when uh, the economy was in a major economic crisis. Why is this context applicable? Well, the answer is quite simple. The matter is that um, uh, emerging market economy is economy of high unpredictability, and crisis amplifies this unpredictability and also, this is the context of very limited resources, particular for small and medium enterprises. So, looking in the context, at looking at effectuation and causation in this emerging market context during crisis uh, pushes the environmental conditions of uncertainty and resource scarcity to its limits, and it allows us to actually infer how effectuation theory explains um, firm performance, firm behavior, in, uh, in an environment where the major boundary conditions of effectuation theory, resource constraints and uncertainty are at their limits, are very high. 
Uh, so the baseline line perspective or main reasoning of our study is pretty straightforward. Uh, we expect that causation, when, when the situation is stable or predictable, when there is no crisis in the for a particular firm, causation with its planning and analysis makes a lot of sense. It has positive performance applications and it leads to very reliable performance. On the other hand, in this business as usual situation, effectuation um, probably does not work. So it is, it is a costly strategy. All this flexibility, experimentation uh, that are inherent in effectuation, they, are, they actually take away from the performance in stable and predictable times. At the, at the same time, effectuation with its emphasis rather than on planning, on learning by doing, effectuation creates a lot of uncertainty in outcomes. So sometimes it will lead to major breakthrough successes, something much better than any planning would conceive of but sometimes it will lead to major failure. So this is business as usual and um, this is implicit, um, our implicit understanding of effectuation and causation in business as usual situation. The interesting part where our hypothesis starts is what happens when there is a crisis. So when there is a crisis, um, we already know that crisis in an economy affects firms differently. There will be some firms that struggle a lot. There will be other firms that actually are doing quite okay. In case of Russia, for instance, maybe these are the firms that um, didn't rely on export or import. These are the firms that uh, were not related to resource industries. So some firms will struggle a lot, some firms will struggle little, others might actually benefit from crisis. So we uh, hypothesize that the impact of crisis is heterogeneous on, um, uh, with respect to particular firms. And now, if the crisis, if the level of crisis is high for a particular firm, it means that uncertainty is very high and simultaneously there is limited resources in the external environment. So the firm struggles to get the resources. How does it affect effectuation and causation in their impact on performance? And again, performance will look at both level and variability in performance. We expect that in times of crisis, causation starts working uh, less and less maybe even turning the sign of from causation to average performance to negative, which is which makes uh, intuitive sense because um, in times of crisis, future is inherently, gets inherently unpredictable, all the plans stop working. Simultaneously, crisis makes the um, performance implications of causation highly unreliable. Uh, of course, your plan, you simply don't know how the plans will work. With respect to effectuation, we expect that in times of adversity for a particular firm, effectuation becomes a preferred strategy. There will be a positive um, interaction of uh, effectuation with crisis impact with respect to level of firm performance. So in crisis, effectuation st should start working and the more severe the crisis is, the better it is going to be because effectuation allows the firms to adjust to a crisis through flexibility, through experimentation, through affordable loss principle. Simultaneously, we think that effectuation is going to have a negative impact, um, uh, is going to stabilize performance in times of crisis. And this is probably the most interesting and hypothesis and prediction. So basically what it means, or what we expect, is that when the crisis is high, effectuation allows a firm to adjust successfully to this crisis. So uncertainty in the external environment does not get translated to variability of firm performance. Effectuation essentially will act as a buffer, uh, preventing the uh, uncertainty of the external environment from getting into the from performance. Um, simultaneously, essential part of effectuation, at least in our definition of effectuation, that um, uh, it has the affordable loss principle, which um, basically limits the exposure of a firm to negative external contingencies, also stabilizing the performance. So, method. We look at, uh, we conducted a survey of Russian uh, small and medium enterprises in the year of 2015, early 2016. This was when Russian economy was in the middle of a major economic crisis caused by um, foreign sanctions imposed by a country and declining price of global price of oil. Uh, our survey comes in the year of early, late 2015, early 2016, and uh, our outcome is firms 
financial performance measured not in survey but from objective databases uh, from objective performance databases in the year of 2016 so ultimately about one year after the survey has been done uh, and our sample comprises of 521 companies of course we conduct a lot of robustness checks where we we slice the sample into different subsamples and the hypothesis hold there true Estimation approach. For estimation approach, we use a relatively unconventional or relatively rarely used uh, uh, econom econometric approach called multiplicative heteroscedasticity regression. Multiplicative heteroscedasticity regression allows us to predict or allows us to estimate how particular predictors affect both level of performance and their variability in performance. So multiplicative heteroscedasticity regression for each predictor for each x gives us two estimates how this x affects level of performance and affects variability. Uh, so the regression tables are available in the paper. They, um, they are available here as well. And as I said, all of the, all, each predictor has mean effect and variance effect. Let's probably look at interaction charts because they are uh, more intuitive in order to show how our hypothesis hold true. So, first and foremost, what happens with causation? Uh, we see uh, at the left, uh, left chart is all about the impact of causation on mean performance, and right chart is impact of causation on variability in performance. So, when the crisis in a particular firm is low, the um, causation leads to major performance improvements so planning works when the environment is stable predictable when the resources are available however once if the firm is in severe crisis which is number seven by our by our scales seven out of seven the causation uh, the sign doesn't turn negative but it becomes insignificant so causation doesn't lead to performance improvements now with respect to variability the situation is different uh, the situation is actually opposite. In when the crisis is low, when the firm is in stable, not nice state, uh, causation stabilizes the performance. It has negative impact on the variability of performance. At the same time, causation has when the crisis is high, causation makes performance highly unreliable. Um, which basically means that in times of in, in times of crisis causation leads to marginal performance improvements or actually insignificant simultaneously making it highly unreliable with effectuation situation is completely opposite as we hypothesized or as we preliminary predicted when there is no crisis effectuation has negative impact on firm performance because all these experimentation flexibility being generalist essentially rather than specialist uh, uh, not relying on major planning and optimization it all has negative it all drags the performance down however if the firm finds itself in a crisis effectuation leads to major performance improvements which which basically means that effectuation allows a company to adjust to crisis by proactively leveraging the emerging opportunities without too much planning with respect to variability, in times in stable times, causation or oh, effectuation has positive impact on performance variability, meaning that um, the results of effectuation are highly unreliable when the company finds itself in a stable situation. On the other hand, when the company is in crisis, um, effectuation stabilizes its performance, making it more reliable. Again, this is probably, from my personal perspective, this is probably the most important insight of the study. Uh, in times of crisis, external turbulence is buffered. It doesn't get into the variability of firm performance because effectuation acts as a buffer. It allows the company to um, adjust to the changes in environment as they appear leading to reliable performance uh, implications and actually positive reliable performance implications. So, summary of the findings. First, emerging market conditions create significant contingencies in the relationship between effectuation, causation and firm performance. And we provide detailed explanation about how exactly cri particularly crisis with its uncertainty and lack of resources, how exactly it affects um, performance implications of effectuation and causation in terms of both mean and variability. 
uh, more on practical side. Causation brings marginal performance improvements while also making it highly unreliable in times of crisis. Simultaneously, in times of crisis, in times of adverse economic condition for your particular firm, effectuation leads to performance improvements coupled with higher reliability. And uh, we foresee two major contributions of the study. First is that uh, effectuation theory has major context dependence and um, effectuation and causation can lead to positive or negative reliable or unreliable performance in different conditions and uh, our study specifies some, um, some features of those conditions. And second thing is um, we um, contribute to the variance-based view of entrepreneurship. We try to uh, bring attention of entrepreneurship scholars to the need to analyze performance implications of uh, entrepreneurial actions holistically in terms of both their impact on the level of performance, something that is traditionally done, but also in terms of their impact on variability in performance. Thank you very much, and this is pretty much it.